All right, let me ask you this. Do you think automation testing is the future of software testing? Well, let me tell you this. It's not just about automation testing anymore. Gen AI is shaking things up like never before and AI is changing the world of automation testing and software development itself. And no, no, in this video, we are not going to talk about how AI is going to take your job. It's all about how AI or Gen AI is changing the whole industry and how it can change the way we work and how it is changing the market of automation testing or software testing. And if you're already in automation testing and using Selenium for your automation testing related things, then you must be aware how we are using Selenium to write our test cases and execute them, right? And now companies are using Gen AI to write test scripts, execute them and find flaky test cases and how to fix them even faster than ever before. And if you are already in automation testing and using other automation tools like Selenium, Cypress or other things, then you must be aware how we are writing automation test scripts and executing them for our regression testing or any testing we do right now. But it is getting outdated. Right now, companies are using Gen AI for writing test cases and automating them and finding flaky test cases and fixing them and then even debugging any failures which are happening in our test cases. But what does this mean for you? How you can use generative AI and make this as your superpower rather than competitor? So now let's understand what is changing. A few years ago, if you know Selenium and little bit of Java and framework, then you are all set and you need not to think about anything else. But today you should be aware about how to talk to AI systems like ChatGPT and other AI tools and how you can use them to write new test cases, automate them, find flaky test cases and fix them and also integrate them with your current framework so that it increases the productivity and efficiency of your whole process and systems. So now let's talk about what are going to be old skills and the skills of the future. So older skills are going to be like writing manual test cases, writing automation scripts for the uh, already written manual test cases, execute them and finding flaky tests and fixing them. All of those are right now very prevalent skills right now but the same skills is not going to be relevant going further because ai or generative ai specifically is going to help you do all the coding right manual test cases automate them finding flaky test cases debug them all of those things are going to be your skills of future so here new skills are going to be prompt engineering using chat gpt like tools or generative ai and building generative ai tools which can help you automate the whole process of software testing itself right now we are doing automation but automating the automation is going to be the new future so you have to learn those skills which are going to be helping you automate the automation right now right so that is going to be the new skills which are going to be in demand and generative ai is going to be leading this space in future so now let's talk about how generative ai can help you with different tasks in your software testing activities so you can write you 50 different test cases or more than 50 test cases in a fraction of minute so you can write all those test cases and you can automate them writing test cases, writing, you know, writing automation code for that. And even you get stuck writing test cases or code for that, then also generative AI or chat GPT kind of tool are going to help you with that. Even you can work on creating generative AI tools, which can help you fix some of the locators, which are failing again and again. So, Building generative AI tools for all these small, small activities is also going to be a huge skill. So for example, if you have problem of locators breaking all the time, so you can create a generative AI tool, which can help you fix automatically these breaking locators. So if you can create generative AI tools, that is going to be huge, huge shift in your skill and that is going to help you a lot. And if you are wondering how I can use or afford all these fancy tools which are present in the market, then let's talk about the free options which are available. So you can start learning prompt engineering using which you can talk to chat GPT or Gemini kind of tool and these tools are free of cost. You should be leveraging these tools a lot in your day-to-day -day activities and if you haven't started using these tools in your day-to-day -day life, 
believe me you are lagging behind and you should learn and use these tools as fast as possible because prompt engineering is the key skill in order to talk to these ai systems so you need to learn prompt engineering and i have created a dedicated video how you should approach to write a simple and useful and most effective prompt in my previous video so if you wanted to go and check out that video as well that is also going to help you so don't forget to check out that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel till now please make sure to subscribe that helped me also so now let's talk about challenges and opportunity i know that challenges will be huge because you have to shift uh, on the newer skill and it is always not very convenient to shift so basically you need to come out of your comfort zone start learning new concept and new technology so you have to learn all of those things but believe me it's not that tough i have been working on automation since long and i am now shifting my skills from traditional testing to the generative ai based testing so now right now also i am learning and i am building an ai tool in my company which is based on generative ai technology so you can also learn similarly and you can build generative ai tools like that so let's talk about what do you need to do to stay up to date and stay ahead in this game so i'm giving full proof action plan so you should start first with the prompt engineering and the tools which are free of cost like chat gpt gemini and google ai studio so you should be playing around all of these things second thing you should be learning about prompt engineering because you are going to talk about these ai systems like chat gpt gemini so that is more going to be more effective once you learn prompt engineering so now third thing is pick any ai tool to integrate in your current system for example if you can work with testim then you can go and sign up with testim and see how it can work and how uh, you can use these tools to integrate in your current system i have already created a video on testim so you can go and check out on my channel and i will be giving link of that also in the description fourth thing is you should be attending webinars join communities or doing some courses related to ai how you can integrate all those things you need to learn these days because it is very very relevant and it is very very going to be changing in near future so you have to be stay up to date so that you are also in the alignment of the changing future so the last thing is you have to keep experimenting on new tools new things what is new how uh, generative ai systems work in the background all of those things you need to learn and as long as you try more you will be having more and more curiosity to learn and eventually you will be able to shift your career from traditional testing to gen ai or future of the testing and believe me those who are still frightened that ai is going to take your job it's not unless you upskill yourself remember those days when manual testing was there and automation was coming into the picture that time also those people who didn't uh, upskill themselves to automation now uh, you know they also faced those challenges you know because manual testing was less and automation was coming into the picture now automation will be less and gen ai will be in the picture and that is the most asked and most required skill in the future so you have to learn this skill as fast as possible because this industry is moving so fast let me know in the comment box if you have already started learning gen ai and using it and how it is changing the way you work in your current company and let me know in the comment box and if you haven't subscribed my channel please make sure to subscribe it gives me motivation also to help you with these kind of videos and what different types of videos you wanted to listen from me comment in the comment box i am going to make videos on that also and if you wanted to connect with me go in the description there is a top mate link and you can schedule call with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next one